Bring in Republican Pennsylvania Congressman, member of the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committee's Guy Reschenthaler. Good to see you, sir. Appreciate it, uh, as always. All right, the, the Democrats say there's going to be public hearings soon in your committee. Uh, what are your first questions and first things you want to know and say? Well, Leland, first off, I want to know why we had to wait till now to have public hearings. This has been going on for 38, 40 days or so. Why has oh, it been come taking on, part you, in you the know, you know, investi You know very well in investigations, you are an attorney as well, the grand jury happens in secret and then you get public hearings. Why, why is that a problem? Sure, and we had that with, um, with Mueller. Right, and now that we, we're moving forward, these hearings should be open. But th to the this public. isn't about Mueller. This is about something else. Right. Well, just moving forward, Leland, we have to remember that the vast majority of Congress has been kept in the dark. I'm very fortunate to be on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, right. and I've been in, been in some of these depositions. But about 75 percent of my colleagues have not been in these depositions. Okay. How are they supposed to make decisions when well, the when they're, once not the public in the, when they're not in the room? Happen. I, I get. You, Back to the original question, what, what is the first thing in the Judiciary Committee? You say you've been in the Foreign Affairs Committee. We'll start with this. What have you been right. able to read and see in the Foreign Affairs Committee that you view as exculpatory evidence, the things the American people would hear and say, you know what, uh, the 50 percent of them that want Donald Trump impeached and removed are going to go, no, I agree with the Republicans. Right. Well, I would just say the transcript is itself. I read the transcript. There's nothing in that transcript that gives me pause. What I'm nothing? interested in, though... Nothing. What okay. I'm interested in, in regard to the president. Now, when it comes to Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, that's where I'd like to explore. Because we've got to remember that Hunter Biden was getting paid $50,000 a month, not a year. $50,000 oh, okay. a so, month, zero experience with oil and gas, zero experience with It seems with like it's unlikely Ukraine. at best that Hunter Biden is going to be called to testify, right? You don't think the Democrats are going to allow that to happen, do you? No, okay. they're not. But All right. So, so, so let's put up. I, let's just I do put up, have questions with that. Let's put up one of the timelines here. Timeline for military aid to Ukraine. September 9th, the inspector general was informed the House Intelligence Committee of the whistleblower complaint. September 11th, the White House releases U.S. aid. Uh, that could be a coincidence. It could be something else. But play out this hypothetical as as a judge and former prosecutor as well. Okay. If there was a U.S. official, we'll call him a governor, or even a president. Uh, who then called a local official, a law enforcement official, a, another governor, a, an attorney general, the commissioner of the Delaware State Police, perhaps, and said, look, we're withholding federal funding or state funding to your organization unless you investigate a number of things and included in that list of things you want investigated as a political rival. You'd have a problem with that, right? Well, Leland, we know that the Senate, we don't need a hypothetical. We know that Senate Democrats actually did that to Ukraine, calling, calling on the Ukrainians to investigate the president. And we know that, we know that Joe Biden right. himself and, and, and openly and Democrats bragged went crazy about, about that. Right. And we also know that Joe well, Biden openly bragged about... Republicans I, I went knew. crazy about that. So what I guess I'm saying, you're, you're saying that Joe Biden did the wrong thing, right? You're saying that him bragging about strong army in the Ukrainians and firing this prosecutor is a bad thing. You want that investigated. Why then is the president saying that he wants to investigate Joe Biden not also a bad thing? Right. Well, when there's interference in elections, that needs to be investigated. That's exactly what the president was doing. And we know that Joe Biden openly bragged about getting a Ukrainian prosecutor fired. Okay. We also know that Senate Democrats openly said that they would they would vote to withhold aid if the Ukrainians weren't investigating the 2016 elections. Now, what gives me again, what gives me pause is why Hunter Biden was getting but, but paid you're, you're laying out all, a month. Well, Congressman, you're laying out all these things that the Re Democrats did that were bad, right? Right. OK. The president of the United States also said, I want things investigated as it related to my political rival, Joe Biden. That's in the transcript, right. him talking about Joe Biden. So why is it bad for the Democrats to do it and OK and not investigatable for the president to do it? Because what you have to look at what the receiver of that information thought. And we know that President Zelensky, who was the recipient of that phone call and the, obviously the other person on the line, said he felt no pressure to investigate Joe Biden. He also did not know that aid was being withheld. So just so you can't have a quid pro quo if the other person, one, doesn't even feel though, pressure even though the and two, aid, they don't know something's being withheld. Even though the aid was withheld. OK, I mean, I, I, I understand. I understand your point. The quid without the pro without the quid. OK, he didn't uh, know. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Congressman, appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Leland, thanks for having me on. Good to have you as always.